worth repeating. And I think this song is. We've had we've had a very challenging week, haven't we? And for Vive la France, Vive les Parisiens, Vive la Francia, también México y España. Yes, terrorism. People scared to death. A lot of victims. It's been a hard week. And so, at at the risk of repeating this, and I did this last year. Jim Cocker has a beautiful song. And uh, he, he tells us something in the lyrics. And we can imagine that it's Jesus, it's Jesus saying these words to us. It's Jesus addressing every one of us and saying, saying these beautiful words to us, to every single one of us. You are so beautiful. celebrity and fame and a variety of other human obsessions. And you know what? Most of us have toyed with that kingdom, haven't we? We've played around with that kingdom. Thank God we got out of that kind of stuff. And if you didn't have it yet, get out of it. You know, it's, it's not the right place for you. The fact of the matter is whoever dies with the most toys still dies. <laughs> Jesus tells us, and Jesus shows us that the values, the authentic, true values of his kingdom, the lasting values, are first of all service, service to others, especially the poor, and the least significant, the homeless, the hungry, those who are wandering about this planet looking for a home, refugees, it values love. 
the kingdom of God does. Loving everyone. Even, even those people, those crazy folks who are causing havoc in the world. Loving everyone. The kingdom of God is about self-sacrifice. It's about putting the needs of other people even ahead of our own needs. The kingdom of God, Christ's kingdom, is about hanging in there in church and with the sacraments and being faithful community members in, in good times and in times that are challenging. And you know what? We're living in challenging times, aren't we? All kinds of stuff that's challenging us. Thank you, Pope Francis. We love you, right? Indeed. He's helping us get through this. Life in the kingdom of God is not about loose talk. It's about powerful action. It's not about how much we possess. It's about how much we give away. And so, the big question is simply this. In the end, what happens? And what happens after we die? I don't know. And neither do you. But I do know this, that the gospel message is a true story about a loving and caring, merciful and compassionate God who calls every one of us beautiful. He calls us the apple of his eye. And at the end of this life journey, Jesus, the king of the universe, is the one who is waiting for us. And he will remind us that every single one of us is created in his image and his likeness. So don't go beat yourself up. We're created in God's image. That's no small thing. And you know what? If we've done our very best in this life's journey, it is Jesus who will claim us. And then I think we can say, with all the saints in heaven and all the angels, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. And the church said, Amen. Amen.